One of the most exciting things about being in the UAE is the advancement in technology, whether that's construction um, of of different resources, whether it's buildings, whether it's different transport. And one of the most exciting are Sharjah's electric sky pods, which could be transporting shipping containers and also passengers across the UAE. To talk more about this is the chief executive of U-Sky Transports, Oleg Zaretsky. Thank you very much for coming in to talk 100.3. Welcome. Thank you very much. So this is amazing. So, so talk us through this. This is a shipping uh, container terminal uh, which have got located uh, up at the Sharjah uh, Research and Technology Park. And you're hoping to have uh, these pods up and running what, as a test site in December along a, a two-kilometre track. Exactly. Actually, we have one passenger track that is already running. It's 400 metres track. Mm -hmm. It is a passenger track and it was built with the purpose to get certification and approval. Okay. We understand that this is very much important for future commercial projects. And now anybody can come and can see the transport of the future. I love that. So, name. yeah, <laughs> we call it welcome to board the future. So it means and we welcome um, school excursions and uh, institutional tours to show people they will see the real future of transport. And beside of this, we are building 2.4 kilometers line mm -hmm. that will carry uh, containers. So container, fully fledged container, for 20 foot, 40 foot, the total weight of machine with container will be around 50 ton and it will travel above the ground with the speed 120 kilometers per hour yeah. just on the very thin rails what we can what we call suspended string rails okay and and how does this technology work 50 tons going at 120 clicks per hour uh, we were talking of you know a, a massive amount of mass being uh, you know transported engineering this is engineering and uh, I the whole technology is based on inventions and uh, all life work of Dr. Anatoly Unitsky, who is UAE resident, and uh, people maybe they don't know that they live with the real visionary of the future. I want to present the book uh, to radio that was written by him, and I think that you will get more information about this. Well, uh, Oleg has just presented, presented us with uh, an extraordinary book here, and uh, this is a very heavy book, actually, personally signed, uh, saying we are building the future. Yes. This is in in incredible. W when it comes to uh, uh, the pods, uh, is is there a difference in speed between the passenger and the cargo pods? Are they going to be traveling at different speeds? Yes, uh, the passenger, mostly the passenger pods, they travel with the speed up to 150 kilometers per hour. And the containers, they travel with the speed up to 120 kilometers per hour. That is more than enough for passenger and for uh, cargo. And of course, our main advantage is that we are times cheaper than any available transportation system with the same equals. So it means we don't talk about 15% or 25% as usually people speak in the market. Mm -hmm. No, we are times cheaper and we are times more effective. Wow. So w when, when this cheaper mode of transportation will be available, uh, I'm sure that people would be spending a lot less and you know, with the fuel prices going up, this will obviously affect uh, the the common man's pocket. But what are the timelines that we're looking at in this? Then, in that case, this is this is this is our challenge. So technically, we are ready for implementation of commercial projects, and we have huge interest coming from all over the world. I think that during Expo 2020, right. more than uh, 300 different delegations and uh, interested parties, they came to our facilities, they have seen it, mm -hmm. and uh, they expressed huge interest. But you know, there are certain obstacles, usually it's very difficult to push through something new, especially now, you know, <laughs> people, always... are, people are very conservatively minded. Yeah. This is the main problem. So the first who will break this ice, then he will get almost everything. This is amazing. Uh, what is your plan? I mean, you've, you've got it set up there uh, at that uh, the Innovation Centre in Sharjah. Is that looking to be the hub, or are you looking are you looking to actually that's going to be a, the passenger hub? Or, or um, what kind of? I can see you're a busy man. Your phone's course, going as you speak. Of course, everything depends on um, on our orders, commercial orders. Of course, uh, Sharjah Research Technology Innovation Park. This is our strategic partner. 
for development of the technology, especially in the Middle East. And uh, we have our corporate office there, and uh, we have the first lines, and we are developing this place but, but, that we are located in. But are, are you looking, we've got Etihad Rail that's being built. Is this looking as maybe being a, a competitor to, say, someone who wants to travel from Sharjah to Fijera, or are you looking for, for shorter trips? For both. Actually, for both. Okay. Actually, for both, I am looking for both. We are looking for both because we have different solutions. We have solutions for strategic transportation corridor, for example, that could connect Shar uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And even we have high speed transport for this. We have transport that can travel 500 kilometers per hour, much easier and much cheaper than I will not talk about and I will not. Uh, no, call can, the names, but it no. But it will be times cheaper, times faster, and times simpler than anything uh, that is now proposed in the market, with the same equals, of course. Wow. I mean, see, I was I was actually going through the book, you know, while we were talking, and I saw some visuals, uh, some some drawings and everything, and the way it is all placed, it looks so sleek. It doesn't really occupy a lot of land space. It doesn't really occupy or, or probably require a lot of construction space as well. This is our second advantage. Uh, because we are cheaper, not because just we are cheaper. Mm -hmm. First of all, if you see at our rails, right. our rails consume thousand times less materials than anything else. For example, what is the weight of one meter or one meter of Dubai Metro? A lot, I'm sure. I don't hundred know. tons, yeah. maybe more. Yeah. And our rails that will carry containers, mm -hmm. the weight will be around 60, 70 kg. So you can compare. We consume times less materials. That's why we are times cheaper. The second issue that we don't utilize land. Mm -hmm. It means that, for example, when we are arranging transportation corridor, we don't need to buy out land from the people. We don't need to cut jungles and trees. Right. We can go above. Right. And uh, that is why we are, as I mentioned, we are much more effective. So when it comes to to your modeling, if I were, do you have a price in mind between what it would cost to maybe go from Dubai to Abu Dhabi? Oh, um, you are talking about ticket value. Yeah, is that a, or is that too far advanced? <laughs> it's yeah. too far, of course. Okay. And usually, you know, ticket value it does not reflect the cost of the project. It reflects usually the desire of uh, the government to mm -hmm. get money. You okay, know? I, okay, I understand. So, so, so at, at, at this point, what is your next stage? Are you looking for a, a financial are, modeling, or investment? Are you looking to, to lobby the government? What, what is the next stage? Uh, our, 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 our next stage is to introduce our technology to interested parties and to find governments or private entities or financial entities that will be interested to invest and to build and construct this uh, transportation technology yeah. where we are where where will be technology providers mm -hmm. No, uh, you, you're talking about, you know, uh, a while back you, you spoke about governments coming into play. Uh, could this also, and I'm, I'm thinking probably two steps ahead from where we are today, could it become like an inter-country transportation over the of seas course. as well? Of course, just imagine. Uh, when you transfer containers, right, the cost of moving container will be around $20 per 100 kilometers. If now you go to I don't know, to Africa, mm -hmm. it will cost around $1,000. Wow. So this is the relation. Wow. So you, you're talking about 50 times less. 50 times less. So so roughly how big are the pods? If we, is, it, is it the size of a car, twice the size of a car? It depends. Again, it depends. We have developed more than 25 models of different pods, including cargo pods, including container moving pods, including port for moving bulk loads, like grain, sand, and of course, including passengers' uh, pods, starting from uh, port for two and finishing with port for forty-eight. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, it's it's impossible to put tail in front of the nose. Uh, should first should go the project with requirements, and we have six hundred engineers in our uh, engineering company that they are able to tailor solution to customer demand.
This is an exceptionally futuristic uh, idea. Uh, is Sharjah your only test uh, project at this stage, or any other countries? Do you have a, um, a, a similar plan? We have, we have test and certification center in Belarus. Okay. That is even more than in Sharjah. We have seven lines there. Uh, we are building the first commercial line in Belarus. It, again, it's not huge, it's not small, but this will be the first commercial project. Mm -hmm. And I'm keeping fingers crossed, we are hoping to have the first commercial project in charge. Wow, this yeah. is amazing. On these transport solutions, I'm just having a look on your website. So is it is it safe for me to say that the, on, on the, the passenger will sit below the rail and then the cargo goes above the same rail? There are, there are different ways how to structure it. Yes, we have transport that is hanging below the rail. Okay. The rail. Uh, there is transport that is top on mm -hmm. the rail. There is combination between below and top. So again, it is all depends on the particular C project. Oh, well, essentially what the customer wants. Exactly. So. But then again, I mean, if, if, if the rail is built, if the string is built, as we say, uh, Will that be a single-use thing, or that, or, or or once it's created, can be used as per the wish of uh, the people or the government? No, yeah. it will it will match our rolling stock, of course. Okay. So then, of course, we need to know from the beginning what type right. what of loads of will be there. There will be containers or passengers, something like this. Another that our line gives opportunity. Mm -hmm. for other services to have for example communication services mm -hmm. built nearby our rail because anyway it goes above right. the ground uh, our uh, supporting towers can be used as communication towers Makes sense. so we have a lot of solutions how to make combination of our technology with our uh, providers that mm -hmm. could be in combination with our structure well, I think this is just an exceptionally exciting uh, concept. Oleg Zaretsky, the chief executive of U uh, U Sky Transport, uh, congratulations on all your work so far. And, and hearing your passion is uh, <laughs> yeah, for yeah, this project is something uh, so addictive. How long have you been with the company for now? Uh, more than two years. Yeah. And uh, and when you're looking at the time frame on this, so you're thinking this, this test site in December, and then if the order was given today, how quickly do you think we could see one of these across the UAE? Uh, again, when I keep fingers crossed, I don't say oh, you don't want to give me promises. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, but passion is there, and it's to be honest, it's not only my passion. First of all, it is the passion of Dr. Unitsky, who spent all his life trying to bring this brilliant technology, this and others, by the way, mm -hmm. to life. Yeah. And what is happening now? So, we are all as one team, we have to push through. Oleg, wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us on Talk 100.3. Thanks for coming in. Oleg Zaretsky, Chief Executive of Use Sky, Sky, Sky Transport on TSB.